Hi, I'm Vernice Tantukon. Welcome to another session of Raptor Live Jam. Today we have Grace Note here with us, so that's Eunice, Jazz, EJ, and Tatsi. Hi, guys. Hi. And they are playing a few songs for us today and answering some questions about their, their music and their new album. So you guys just released your new album this 2016. Can you tell us a little about it? Um, our album is uh, titled Transparent. We've released it last February 29. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, actually, it's, it's very special. It's a very special year for us because uh, we've waited like four years before we re released our second album. So um, it's, it's a huge leap because the um, like, like, transition of music namin from our first album compared to this album, it's very, very different. So we're really excited for you know, our, our friends and fans to hear the new songs and new music. And, and yung mas nagpa special pa nun is uh, we've collaborated with you know the people that we really look up to like Yang Constantino, Alexa Ilaka, Chino Artaleza, and Six Psycho Mind. Kaya sobrang it's it's very exciting for us. Why the four year wait between the albums? Um, we we actually we did a lot of brainstorming eh, sa album kasi like yung first album namin super. Um, Kung iko kwento namin, it's uh, it's it's Organic. it's very raw for us. It's sobrang siguro lahat ng mga na, na experience namin for the past four years. Parang pinaghalu-halu namin na dun sa album and um, asama namin sa album ni si Ryan Sarmiento of Six Cycle Mind and Sir Darwin Hernandez, our manager. And sobrang and dami namin ginawang um, yun nga like brainstorming para mabuo yung para siyang puzzle for us uh pre-prod and dami naming like um pinagdaanan like nag-iba rin yung mga influences namin as musicians as artists sobrang dami naming uh na discover din sa mga sarili namin na na input namin din sa album and we got busy rin sa gigs and nagkaroon din ako ng special project with Kian Cipriano mm -hmm. yung Kian K and E happy together kaya medyo natagalan talaga yung yung gap nung pag-release ng second album pero the, it was worth, worth the wait, wait. yeah <laughs> um, I actually have a copy of your album here yeah, if you want to show it's it here guys yeah. Yeah. look <laughs> can you tell us about the the title transparent yeah transparent why why transparent because it's tr actually transparent <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. no um yung album na to it's uh, very personal to us it's um Yung kum kumpara dun sa first album namin, and daming daming namin na collaborate din na. Uh, and daming nag nagbigay ng mga songs. And we're very blessed to have um, Kuya Herbert Hernandez of Moonstar 88 and Sir Darwin nagbigay sin ng kata. But this time it's very pure na sobrang um, kamito and, and the team na tipong. When you listen to the songs, uh, it's very honest and transparent, and that's what we want our fans to feel when. When they hear our music, we want them to, uh, we want to have that intimate connection with them. That when, when they listen to it, they feel you know closer to us. Mm -hmm. That's why we called it transparent. We're like, yeah, For transparent. Because <laughs> you know we believe transparency, you know, keep people closer to each other. So, well, yeah. you guys are about to sing your a single from your new album. Yes, this yes. is our latest single. And it's called it. It's Sorry. called uh, it's called Tassie Turn. Called Tassie yes. Turn, yes. Um, actually, we're gonna do a medley. Uh huh. Um, it's it's a surprise because uh, it's it'll be our first time to play it. Only here. Only here. <laughs> Rappler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So go ahead. All right. Let's do this. This song is called No Hate.
story behind the, that medley? Well, uh, yung No Hate, actually, uh, na-inspire kami na kanta. I, by the way, guys, yung No Hate, super bagong kanta lang siya. Like, one week old. <laughs> um, baby pa. Baby pa lang siya. <laughs> <laughs> yung, yung No Hate, na-inspire kasi kami dun sa um, issue na isang article na ginawa sa amin about us uh, obviously tweaking, obviously tweaked a song as, as a particular song at uh, uh dahil doon nakagawa kami ng isang song na sh shuffle beat din and yeah we enjoyed it <laughs> so that's the story behind no hate but what about taciturn what was going through your heads when you wrote it um taciturn well actually taciturn kasi it's uh, the story uh, the story behind that song is um it's it's about the girl it's about a guy actually who's been, you know, juggling two chicks at the same time. Mm. So it's, uh, yeah, parang para siya sa mga taong hindi mo contento sa isa. Parang ganun yung story niya. And and um, we wanted to try to send a message to all, you know, to all our listeners. Na parang minsan hindi natin na malaya na sobrang blessed natin at at nagahanap pa tayo ng iba or. You know, sometimes we just have to, you know, count our blessings mm -hmm. and not want everything we don't have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you're just joining us now, we're here with uh, Grace Note, and they yes. they just released their new album, Transparent, in February. Uh, can you? You were saying earlier that you you changed your inspirations, your sound. Um, how has it changed since 2012? 
a lot. Upside down. <laughs> Change a lot. <laughs> sobrang, sobrang iba siya. Like I said earlier, yun nga, na parang, um, kaya rin kami actually na-offend dun sa, dun sa article na parang, parang ten week namin siya, like we did nothing, but parang hindi kami nag-effort sa album natin. Kasi sobrang, we, sobrang, ano, uh, this album is like the reflection of, you know, the our, all our blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, we've waited yes. four years to, to create this album and um, sobrang, sobrang pinaghirapan namin siya. As artists, sobrang mahalaga sa amin nun. And, uh, sobrang, uh, Kinonceptualize namin even the genre. Pinag-usapan namin na ganito, the way EJ did the drums, Jazz did the bass lines, yung mm -hmm. producer namin si Ryan Sarmiento of Six Psycho Mind. Lahat ng mga elements na yun, sobrang pinuzzle namin lahat yun. At talagang um, kinombine namin lahat ng ideas. Also our, our managers, Darwin Hernandez. And by the way, Tatsy Jamnagi of Kalalili playing here with us yeah. <laughs> on the guitars. Um, he's our fourth member <laughs> as of now. At yun, so, sobrang ano lang ng album. Um, ano ba guys, kwento nyo naman kung ano yung process. Iba kasi yung ano eh, iba kasi yung naging, naging proseso talaga ng, ng, ng recording namin this time. Kasi ano siya eh. Malaking bagay din influences namin. Kaya yes, we started listening to Charlie XCX, yes. uh, Lord, uh, Taylor Swift's new album, sobrang nabaliw kami doon. It's really good. Um, sino pa ba? 21 Pilots. It's my yes. all-time favorite band. And so, for your next song, kami na grow. Yeah, for, for your honest. next song, you're actually playing a cover for us. And yes. it's Youth by Troy Sivan. So why this song? Was he one of your influences too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> well, Yung yung tugtugan din kasi ni Troy Sivan, it's um it captured our attention kasi yes. yun nga yung yung inf yung yung sound na, na yung naging path ng sound namin is electronic rock, electro rock. So yeah, he's one of our influences. Okay. Ganun naman yung music eh, influential yes, and so inspirational. Inspirational, yeah. All right, well, go ahead. So this is you. The Troy Sivan. What if, what if you run away? What if, what if you left today? What if we say goodbye to safe and sound? What if, what if you're hard to find? What if, what if you lost the minds? We let them fall behind and they never found. And when the light starts flashing like a photo booth, like when the stars explode. Skysipping waterfalls My youth is yours Run away now and forever My youth, my youth is yours True so loud you can't ignore my youth My youth, my youth My youth is yours
that was Grace Note with Youth by Troy Sivan. Uh, so you guys were talking about your album and how you've worked with a lot of artists that yes. you look up to. What was it like working with Chino Ortaleza and Yen Con Constantino? Um, it's uh, it's a dream come true. I mean, si si Chino kasi sobrang uh, sa industry na kasama na talaga namin siya. And we very we feel very comfortable and she's very cool. Mm -mm. And yes. it's really um, like we feel very grateful na hindi siya naghesitate ng sinabi namin. Kasi nung ginawa namin yung I will wait, ano siya eh, uh, gawa na talaga siya. But then we st we felt that you know something is missing. And then and then we we saw Sheena Ortaleza perform on stage with her band Lara Serena, and we were like, oh my gosh, she yung kulang sa kantang to. Mm -hmm. And then when we told her na parang do you, you want to collaborate with us, she's like. 100% yeah. So parang sobrang uh, we are very blessed to have her sa I will wait. Yung kay Yang naman, it's a, it's also a different story na tipo I mean, Yang is is like very it's uh, inspirational. I mean, lahat lahat naman ata ng mga teenagers or lahat ng mga musikero sobrang ina uh, sobrang ina admire si Yang Constantino and I'm one of them and um I'm just, it's really amazing to have her in this album because it's sobrang, I mean, that's Yang Constantino, guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dream come true. Na oh. tipong sobrang nagpapasalamat kami kay Yang na, na talaga sinamahan niya kami. And, uh, he's also not just, you know, um, not just an idol. It's also, she's also uh, one of my mentors. Kaya mm. sobrang nakaka-touch na, you know, th th having that feeling na she's got my back. Mm. Yeah, I is love there, her. Is there anyone else you'd like to collaborate with? Who? W what's your dream collaboration? Like any single yeah. artist? Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> about what about guys? others? Local artist. Mm. Uh, as of now, Gary V. Gary V. <laughs> yeah, Barbie and Madness. Here. I like Barbie. Uh, Gary, oh, Gary, so Gary V was, was here. Just yeah, a he while ago? Uh, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> just a few weeks ago, few he weeks performed ago. for us. Hi, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> bakit, si, bakit si Gary V? And, or why Rico Blanco? Uh, He's Mr. Energy. Ang iba rin kasi ng sound from like Taylor Swift, for example. We, we wanted to explore. You know, as, as musicians, we wanted to go out, outside of you know the box, and you know what we want to discover something new always. Parang parang ulam lang siya, eh. parang gusto mong tikman iba naman na. Yeah. So it's a new flavor, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Do you have a favorite song to perform on stage? Favorite song? That not from the album. Oh. Uh, for some reason, merong something yung yung isang song namin from our first album. Yung minsan lang naman na tipong it makes me feel refreshed. Usually, tinutugtug namin siya sa last part na ng set. Pero it, it gives me the feeling na pag tutugtugin na namin yung minsan lang naman, parang first song namin siya. Na mm. sobrang na-energize ako ulit na tipong parang kakasimula pa lang ng show. <laughs> and it's my favorite kasi um, yung flow niya and then the way it connects with the people, the crowd, it's, it's really fun. Kayo guys, how about you? Jazz. Uh, oh, and so, ano, <laughs> so current album yung pos. Why? Um, feeling ko kasi pag tinutugtog natin yun, ang intense eh. <laughs> intense. <laughs> Sobrang saya. Groovy Sobrang kasi saya. yung song. Sana mapakinggan niyo guys sa transparent album mm -hmm. yung pos. It's uh, it's kind of dancey. And naiintindihan mm -hmm. ko si Jazz bakit niya favorite yun kasi kahit ako na-enjoy ko rin siya. Tugtugin. Tatsi, Kuya Tatsi. Tatsi Jumdag. Tatsi, Tatsi Turn. Kailo ko sa pangalan ko eh, Tatsi Turn. yung influence niya sa kanya. Tatsi Turn, everybody. And EJ? Bakit? <laughs> May part doon na pwede siya mag-Snapchat. <laughs> Actually, si Snapchat niya yung pwede ako lagi. No, so, follow, fo niyo, follow niyo si EJ Pichai. EJ Pichai. Snapchat. Snapchat. He's the Snapchatter in our band. 
So <laughs> you will, your next song is I Will Wait, the song that you sang you with Chino or Teleza. <laughs> um, I actually saw you perform with her the other night for Soup Star Night. Yeah. yeah. How so is it? Was that the first time you performed with her on stage? Uh, no, nakasama na namin siya before, pero every time na sumasampa si China sa amin, it's, it's like the first time. <laughs> Summer special. It's always best played with China yes. or Teleza. Right, Hindi well. kompleto kung wala si China. Yes. So there's our wait for us out to all the people who's willing to wait for someone they love without expecting anything in return. <sighs> Unconditional. This is I will wait, hope you like it. Sometimes I feel alone, but then I carry on. Life goes on and on and on.
All right, that was Grace Note with I Will Wait from their new album, uh, Transparent. Uh, I know you guys uh, have day jobs as well outside of this band thing. I know you're a music teacher. Can you tell us about that? Does that um, <laughs> inform your music at all? Uh, you being a music teacher? Yeah. It's, uh, it's do, your do your students inspire you or something? They inspire me as well. I mean, they, they tell me that I inspire them. Wow. <laughs> no, but it's very, um, I think, uh, but it's what I gave to my being a teacher because mm. uh, it makes me realize, it made me reala realize that, you know, being a teacher is very, you know, it's a huge responsibility because, what is it? So, you know, you're mold sa bata. So, as a musician, it's it's um it's ma it's an honor na na nakakaturo ako sa mga bata and it's a different world kasi iba yung pakiramdam na tinututog mo siya at yung tinuturo mo siya and it's a bit challenging actually si EJ uh <laughs> nagtuturo din siya uh, he has a music stu studio um ibang kwento rin kasi it's a day job i i mm. I, I, i wake up like every day at six o'clock in the morning, and it's it, it's really different. Cause ano siya eh, um, kung baga dun lumalabas na talagang it's it's your job to you know teach. The tipong dapat matuto yung mga bata, and sober fulfilling yah for me to see them. You know, pag nakikita ko yung mas tujante ko na tumututok sa recital at kung ano may natutunan nila. Nakagulat minsan. It surprises me and it's yeah, it's fulfilling. Did you want to be? Um, did all of you want to be musicians from the beginning, from when you were kids? Because well, yeah, our our parents. Uh, jazz here is actually my brother, and yeah, uh, bata pa lang kami so we're exposed na kami sa music. Kasi yung parents namin mga musicians. Then my dad's a pianist, my mom's a singer. Kaya actually hindi na namin alam but kami ng music. <laughs> <laughs> Ayaw talaga namin, I'm just kidding. Hindi nalala ka lang ng alon. Oh, hindi nalala kami. Parang et, yun na yung mundo namin. <laughs> ne, pero ano, um, iba kasi yung kinalakihan namin talaga because my mom is a, is a classical singer. My dad also, parang mas ano sila, classically oriented. And pumasok kami dun sa, sa mundo ng banda and it's a different thing. Um, siguro mas mas nahanap lang din talaga namin yung sarili namin sa pagsusulat ng kanta. Um, it, it, uh, sobrang, paano ko ba i-describe? Parang napaka-priceless na, na we get to connect people through our songs. Yun yung, parang yun yung nagbigay ng, you know, yun yung nakaka-inspire for us. It's, it's very inspiring na nakakita na, you know, whatever you say, like, through your songs, when, when you send a message to people, when it bounces back to you, it's it's really like amazing. Sobrang it blows my mind, and you'll never get used to it. Did your parents give you any advice when you were starting out? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, when we were we were starting out, um, ano sila? Eh, yung parents, to be honest, yung parents namin binabawalan talaga kami, kasi banda siya. Eh. I yeah. mean, puyatan and all that. Pero eventually, na intindihan din nila kung ano yung ginagawa talaga namin at um, siguro yung yung advice nalang talaga nila na, na hindi ko malimutan is to take care of ourselves kasi yung health vitamins mm. vitamins <laughs> usual yeah parents parents advice vitamins yung bimpo mo ka mama's girl ka, eh, mama's girl mama's boy ka de ba mama's girl you wanna say something about your mom So I grew up with uh, sa family of musicians then. Yeah. Yeah. So, ganun din yung advice. Uh, hindi rin talaga sang ayon sa una. Sa una eh. Siyempre, uh, mas experienced sila. Kasi, again, medyo suktok sa buwan na may mangyari sa band or sa group. Pero, uh, fortunately enough, uh, na-prove naman na namin. Yeah, just so you know, guys, they're very supportive. Yeah. Like, sila yung number one fan namin ngayon. So, go, uh, bago din yung ihip ng hangin. Yeah. Nagdaloy ng alon. Wala so, na silang magawa eh. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Nag-aaway ba kayo? Because your jazz? siblings, yeah. Jazz, nag-aaway ba tayo? Um, <laughs> next question. What do you think? Next question, please. Joke lang, joke lang. 
Natural naman yun eh. So, uh -huh. What do you fight about when it comes to band stuff? Band stuff. Food. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We're very excited about food. Yes, Everything. especially out of town. Mga out of town gigs. Ito si, si Tatsi. <laughs> ano, ano trip mo? Pag mga... Tatsi magaling mag-critic ng ano, pagkain. Chicken. Check out Oh, check out Conchos. Yeah, Conchos, my favorite Sisig in the world. Yes. Day job, day job. Day job, yeah. Know, tama, Cizik. tama. Day job ni Tatsi from Nagi on the guitars. Ano, Conchos Sisig. You should check it out, guys. Sa Lilac Marikina. Maginhawa soon. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, so then. Actually, ang ganda din eh, na merong day job kasi naging productive ka rin, mm. in a way. And yeah. Uh, and you guys are about to sing your last song for us. It's called 2-4. Can you yes. tell us a bit about it? It's about putting your foot down. It's about decisions in life. Natipong minsan sa buhay. Uh, we feel like, you know, pressured sa mga tao sa paligid natin. You know, sometimes they push, they pull. Hindi mo alam kung anong gusto talaga nila. Pero um, it's, it's, a, it's a reminder to everyone, yung 2-4, na, na um, you, you always have that call, that decision. It's really up to you because yeah, the world belongs to you. <laughs> and basically, it's a motivational song. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a word of empowerment. And uh, before we sing our last song, um, I w we, wa we would like to promote our shows, of course. Uh, tonight we'll be um, at Sagiho, Makati. Yes. We'll see you guys there if you're around the area. Kita kits. South peeps. Yeah. So <laughs> August 5, uh, we'll be playing the second leg of Rock Back to School. That's going to be tomorrow. August 5, the umbilis ng Oh, my gosh. They will be at... Uh, University of Santo Tomas. So, lahat ng mga Tomasians na nakikinig ngayon, we'll see you guys tomorrow and let's party. Yeah. We're excited to meet you guys. And op August 13, we'll be um, at Blowfish Disco Bar and Live Band Singapore, 7 yeah. p.m. with Kala Lily. So, so lahat ng mga friends in Singapore, sabihan niyo na. Yes, tell all your friends, your, family, your relatives. Yeah. Tell, tell them that to all the Grecians who are listening right, right now, tell them that your favorite band is coming. Yeah. <laughs> August 19, another rock back to school gig at FEU Technology Manila. So, kita kits tayo, Tamaraos. August 24, um, sa Arellano University, rock back to school din siya. It's, it's actually a campus tour, and we're very, yes, very yeah. excited. Kasama namin, Kala Lili. Yes, it's a campus tour with Kala Lili. And so September two, so September two, nasa oh my gosh, I'm getting old. Nasa film, <laughs> PNU, Film Normal University kami. Kita kits tayo jan September eight. Sa oh my gosh, I'm blind. What is that? Mayotas? Nabotas. Nabotas. <laughs> Nabotas poly, polytech, polytechnic college. Co polytechnic college. So Sabi ko ba nang tama? Nabotas polytechnic college. Yes. We'll NPC. see you guys there, September 8th. Don't forget, don't miss the show. It's going to be wild. And we're excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Everyone's gonna> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Music. All right, so well, this is your last song, 2-4. Thank you. Thank yes, you. this Thank is you our last song. Up. Thank you, Rappler, for having us. Thank you so much. For it's an honor to be here. Thank you. <laughs> so polite. Yeah. Grace note, enjoy the rest of the day. This is 2 4. The world belongs to you now. No. 
know what they really want and make you look like a fool. Sometimes they get what they want, but the world belongs to you now. You know you can turn it.